people that might be in here. I ain't saying you in here. I'm not saying you're not. You know who you are. You know if you're an individual that think you know everything. You know if you're an individual that feel like you done learned enough on this, and I really don't need to hear this again. You know if you're an individual that gets bored with God's message and his plans for your life. And so for my foolish people, God may allow certain things to really be illuminated and put on repeat. You know how you put that CD on repeat? And it play over and over and over and over again. Well, you know, there are some things that God has been playing in the spirit for you over and over and over again. A message can go on for a whole hour, but there's one thing that stands out to you, and it's the same thing that stood out to you when you were somewhere else to hear the word. It's the same thing that stood out when you watched TV. It's the same thing that stood out when you read your word. And so guess what? God may have some things on repeat for some of our foolish people because you still haven't gotten it. Amen. You hear it, but you still haven't gotten it. You know, yeah, but that's it. I mean, I know. I mean, I know. You know, have a I mean, I know. Okay, and what are you going to do with what you know? Because it could be on repeat, because you ain't doing nothing with what you know. And so James chapter 1, 21 through 25, the New Living Translation says, So get rid of all the filth and evil in your lives. And humbly accept the word God has planted in your heart. For it has the power to save your souls. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. A lot of us know what we should do. We know what God expects from us, but we don't do it. And so that's why you may hear stuff on repeat. That's why certain things may stand out to you. If you a tither, that doesn't stand out to you when somebody talk about individuals that rob God. Mm. That don't stand out to you, but if they say something about fornication, you may hear that all the time. <laughs> Little signals go off, because you may be getting busy. <laughs> and you know God is saying no, but you know, oh Lord, that's me. You know, oh Father, I'm sorry, forgive me Lord for what I did last night, all this other stuff. You know, and so certain things don't stand out to you, because that ain't your issue. That ain't your area. So God may allow your ears to be fine-tuned to some stuff, because that's your issue, and you have yet to surrender. Right. And so that thing is on repeat. And so it says, but don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. Basically, you're going through the motions. I mean, you're getting all this good word. You're reading all this word. You're getting all this wisdom and this counseling. But yet you're not a doer of the word. <laughs> What's your point? Mm -hmm. To be full of knowledge? Because that's what you got. But it ain't about being full of knowledge. It's about application. And so James tells us, don't just be hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. So it says, you're only fooling yourself. For if you listen to the words and don't obey, it is like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself looking in that mirror, and then you walk away, and all of a sudden you forget what you look like. Mm -hmm. That's what the word says. It says, but if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free. See, you ain't got to be one of them ones when a certain subject come up that it calls you to cringe because you were free. You ain't got to be one of them ones that, you know, always grinding your teeth or walking out of church mad or, or for real because this is how people are in church. See, a lot of times people think you talking to them because it's meant God speaking to them. Let me tell you one thing that I have purposed in my life, that this is not a place to air out any dirty laundry. This is not a place to preach a message to a particular person. If I got to talk to you about some one-on-one, I'm going to talk to you. But I go before the Lord about what I need to preach. But because it may be down your street, your mind may mess with you and tell you that she's talking to me. I ain't God is. Come on. God is. I'm not going to abuse what God has given me. This ain't the place for it. And there has been times when I went before the Lord and I may have had a thought and he didn't release me to preach a word because it was me. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So trust me. <laughs> this
this ain't directly made for you. <laughs> from me. It's directly made for you from the Holy Spirit. But don't think I was like, oh Lord, I want to speak a word for Brother Gary today only. Or me and Brother Gary talked on the phone and all of a sudden now he feel like, oh, he had come across the No. Y'all gotta trust me. The Holy Spirit knows where you are. And so it says, for if you listen to the word and don't obey, it is like glancing at your face in the mirror. I used to feel like that. Can I just back up real quick? When I used to, you know, I wasn't a, a frequent uh, church person, you know, when I wasn't in Christ. Uh, 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 but the few times I did go, I swear I felt like that man was talking to me. <laughs> you know, and then don't let me go with my mother. I swear my mother told the preacher everything about me. <laughs> That's what my mind thought. Yeah, right, yeah. But then when I would go somewhere else, we ain't nobody know me. <laughs> and they say the same thing. And I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, this man all in my business or this woman all in my business, you know, it was God trying to get my attention. So I understand. See, I may be the one sitting right here delivering, but I, I, I can relate too. You know, how the mind can mess with you. And so it says, you see yourself, walk away and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says, meaning the word of God, and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. You will be blessed for walking in obedience to God. Blessed. Because that's all he wants. In, his, in our obeying him, it brings about a life of righteousness and a life of holiness.